Hi, this is Kathleen with Carvent Tag and Title Service. I'm located at 7000 Belair Road, Baltimore, Maryland. Zip code is 21206. Phone number is 410-668-6000. Actually, today I'll be talking about how do I uh, register a vehicle if I have an insurance violation. Um, if you have insurance violation, the system will not allow you to register any car whatsoever. You have to go pay the fine, and then once the uh, flag is lifted off, then the system will allow you. At what number do you call? You call MV at 410-768-7431. That's the number you call. And if it's something, when you call MVA, MVA is going to tell you how much you owe and what happened. Sometimes people don't know why they get insurance violations, you know. First of all, if you don't have it, okay. Say for instance, you had a vehicle and you were driving it and all of a sudden you take out the insurance. If you take out the insurance without... Replacing it with another insurance coverage on that vehicle, you'll be flagged. Or you took out the insurance, probably the vehicle broke down and you forgot to or refused to turn in the tags. When you don't turn in the tags, basically MVA will be thinking you're driving this vehicle without insurance. So whenever your car breaks down, do not take out the insurance. First, all you do is to turn in your tags, go to MVA or go to any tag and title place, turn in your tags once you have the receipt, that's when you proceed to taking out the insurance out of the vehicle. When you do that, it will be okay. But people always do it the other way around. They will take out the insurance before turning the tags. So when you don't do that, MVA will definitely flag you. Another way of getting insurance violation is for some people the vehicles get impounded when your car gets impounded you have to go to that company even if they don't want you to if you even if you don't want to get the car out from the impound just say that you want to get your tags if they don't give you the tags ask for some kind of receipt that shows that they are in possession of your vehicle because if you don't do that they're not going to, I don't know if they're turning your tax for you, but MVA will not have that record. MVA will think you've taken out the insurance and you're driving the vehicle without insurance. You're driving, you're driving the tax without insurance. So make sure when your vehicle is impounded or, yeah, even when it's repossessed, you have to call MVA and report to MVA. That way they'll tell you what you need to bring to the office in order for them to leave the flag. But as long as that vehicle is impounded, or sometimes when the police impound your vehicle, you have to make a go to MV and let them know. Because sometimes they don't turn in those tags on time, or, or possibly maybe they forget to turn in the tags. So make sure you have some kind of proof. If you don't have any proof, you pay the fine. Basically, if you register a vehicle in the state of Maryland and you don't insure the vehicle within 24 hours, you get a flag. I think the first fee is like 150 and then they charge you $7 per day until you rectify the problem. So as long as you let it go, that's how much money you're going to accrue. So pay attention to that. Because a lot of times people come here, they, you know, like when they're trying to fill out the title and I ask them, is your record good with MVA? They're like, oh, yeah, it's good. And then once I let them fill out, all of a sudden there's a problem. Ah, oh, I didn't know it was there. So what I normally do, first of all, is to check the record first. I take the driver's license uh, number, look in the system, make sure everything is good before I let them proceed to sign in the title. And also, if you want to co-sign, like you want someone to co-sign for you and you have a flag, your flag is going to stop that transaction. Everybody must be in good standing with MVA in order for that uh, registration to go through. So make sure you check your account regularly and make sure you don't remove any insurance. Even when you switch insurance companies, you know, you need to um, make sure you have the paperwork just in case. Because sometimes people switch, they have like two days lapse or something that 
envy will pick up, you know, because as long as